Hi, welcome to training. In this video I will cover how to properly assemble the 1000.2 dish antenna. Proper antenna assembly is vital to achieving optimal signal quality. First, set up a work area at the back of your vehicle. The workspace should give plenty of room to work. Gather all four parts of the antenna assembly. The reflector, the skew assembly, the LMBF bracket, and the bulkhead. Before assembling the antenna, make sure to have a good look at the reflector. This is to make sure it doesn't have any obvious bins or dents. Bins or dents in the antenna's reflector can cause unwanted signal issues on one or all of the needed satellites. If you find any bins or dents, do not use the reflector. Only a few tools are needed to assemble the 1000.2 antenna. In your Galaxy One Technician Toolkit, you should have a 7 16 wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. These are the only two tools needed to complete the antenna assembly. It's not recommended to use power tools while assembling the antenna. Power tools can easily damage the reflector causing time consuming issues. With all materials gathered, it's time to start the assembly. First, set the skew assembly to the proper settings based on your location. For training purposes, we will use our Bettendorf, Iowa location, also known as the QC office. We will also set up for a 1000.2 Eastern Art configuration. Let's take a look at the QC Orbital Location Sheet. Locate the 1000.2 Eastern Arc on the antenna settings chart. Now look at the skew column. This tells us the skew setting for the QC area. The skew is the angle the reflector will be tilted. You can set the skew by using a 7 16 wrench to loosen the two skew plate bolts located on the left and right sides of the skew plate. You will also notice a punched out notch next to the left skew bolt. This punch out is an alignment indicator. As you look closer to the left side of the skew plate, you will see the degrees indicator for skew, 40 to 140. The skew will be set to 90 degrees by default. Any skew settings above 90 degrees will be for a Western Arc configuration. Any skew settings below 90 degrees will be for an Eastern Arc configuration. For the QC area, the skew is set to 68 degrees. Rotate the skew plate until 68 degrees is in line with the punched out indicator next to the left skew plate bolt. Now snug the two skew plate bolts with your 7 16 wrench. If you look to the upper left and lower right of the skew plate, you will see two more skew plate bolt holes are now exposed. From the hardware kit, place the two non-finished carriage bolts into the skew plate bolt holes from the bottom of the skew assembly. Add two nuts to the bolts and snug them using your 7 16 wrench. That's it. The skew is now set. Next we will set the elevation. Back to the QC Orbital Location Sheet. Locate the elevation settings for the 1000.2 Eastern Arc configuration. For the QC area, the elevation is set to 38 degrees. Mounted to the skew assembly, you will see the mast clamp. On the left and right sides of the mast clamp, you can see two 7 16 nuts. Loosening the two 7 16 nuts will allow you to pivot the mast clamp. This is how we set the elevation on the antenna. On the left side of the mast clamp mounting structure, you can see the elevation degrees indicator, ranging from 10 to 65 degrees. It's important to understand how to properly set elevation, as it's the most sensitive setting on the assembly. Looking at the left side of the mast clamp mounting structure, just in front of the left mast clamp nut, you will see a straight metal edge. This can be hard to see, so look close. This straight metal edge is the elevation alignment indicator. Now pivot the mast clamp until the alignment indicator is in line with the indicated 38 degrees for elevation. Snug the two 7 16 nuts on the left and right sides of the mast clamp mounting structure. That's it, the elevation is set. We can now attach the skew assembly to the reflector. Make sure to be gentle with the reflector as it can easily be bent. Set the reflector face down on a flat surface. Place the skew assembly onto the reflector. Align the four bolt holes. 
From the hardware kit, insert the four finished carriage bolts up into the reflector and add 7 16 nuts. Using your 7 16 wrench, snug the four finished carriage bolt nuts. After the skew assembly is attached to the reflector, we can now complete the 1000.2 antenna assembly by attaching the LMBF bracket. Pick up the LMBF bracket and have a look at both pieces. One is smaller than the other. The smaller part will attach to the bottom of the LMBF arm. The larger part will attach to the top of the LMBF arm. The LMBF arm also has two holes on each side. These are alignment pin holes to help properly attach the LMBF bracket. Now have a look inside the LMBF bracket's two parts. Notice the alignment pins. When attaching the LMBF bracket, make sure to line up the alignment pins with the alignment pin holes. On the top piece, you can see two nut inserts. Grab the two smaller nuts from the hardware kit and place them into the nut inserts. Use your Phillips screwdriver to insert the two machine screws from the bottom of the LMBF bracket. Tighten the two screws using your Phillips screwdriver. Remember to make sure the alignment pins stay lined up with the alignment pin holes on the LMBF arm. That's it. The dish is assembled and ready to be installed. Mm -hmm.